How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Deluxe. All right, we got a special What's New in Transformers. Man, but before that, go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. It really helps out the channel. Hit that bell. It notifies new content. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. It's all in the description. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But yeah, what's new in Transformers? Basically I, basically, I take a look at new stuff that's coming out. I don't have it in hand. And man, do we have a doozy for you today. There's a show overseas, and man, we got some good stuff. So it's going to be a little longer one than I usually do. So grab some popcorn, your favorite snack, your favorite beverage. I don't care if it's alcohol or not. If you're old enough, you can drink it. All right. So let's take a look at what we got. All right. Up first, we have some new images of the Unique Toys, The Last Night Megatron. And this thing looks huge. Look at, but look at the, uh, how small that hot rod is next to him. Now I didn't know that it's that small, but he is tiny t uh, compared to Megatron. And you got the Optimus Prime sitting up on a nice little stand or whatever that is. That looks pretty cool, I think. So yeah, we got some new images of this, and it looks really nice. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably in for this Megatron because it's a very nice mold, all that good stuff, and the shield and the axe. So yeah, so this is Unique Toys, uh, the Last Night Megatron. And up next we have Toy World slash whatever their name is going to be next week. So we got a bunch of images of their Bumblebee in different colors. We got Starscream, which I really want. It looks like it's in blue and in gray, so and in red. So I guess, you know, they're going to be Thundercracker and maybe Skywarp is going to be in there. I don't know if they're going to call them that or not. Uh, but yeah, we got new images of Toy Worlds and uh, their Bulldog, which is already out. And they got a different, you know, recolor for that. So they're recoloring the heck out of all these uh, molds and everything. Especially the Bumblebee. They got a bunch of different color. Purple, green, and silver. So yeah, we've got a bunch of new stuff from uh, the uh, Toy World. Oh, they also got a yellow one also. They got, showed some outside pics and everything. So I guess, you know, you got to take pics out in nature and all that stuff. So yeah, new stuff from uh, Toy World and the movie stuff. And you know you got Toy World, so we have Zeta Toys now. They're showing some new stuff. They got their Blitzwing and their Bumblebee also from the, you know, Bumblebee the movie. And everything. This looks pretty good. Looks really clean. Both the, the alt modes look really nice. You know, I, this is a Silly Putty mode. You know, their Silly silly Putty phase and everything because it looks like Silly Putty. Uh, but yeah, really nice. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what they... Uh, look in some uh, some color, you know, some paint and everything. But yeah, Blitzwing and uh, Bumblebee look pretty good from them, so I may be interested in these too. And also from Toy World, I, we've already seen these, but this is their Tantrum and Rampage. Uh, real quick, you know, they got some in the bot modes and in uh, alt modes. Uh, this is their Predacons, uh, also Predaking. So I just thought I'd talk about this a little bit and show you a little new picks from them. And we also got a uh, new picks from Master Maid. Uh, this is their, I think, Power Master. Uh, Prime. Uh, so yeah, we're getting uh, some new picks of this and everything. I, I don't have any of the Master Maid stuff, so I don't know, you know how good they are, but uh, my boy Robert D has some, and he says they're pretty good. But yeah, this is some new picks of their Power Master Optimus Prime and everything. So Master Maid uh, made a little little appearance at this uh, convention. So we also got a glimpse of the G Creations, you know, the Dinobot combiner and everything. But in front of it, we got TFC. It looks like they're making a God Neptune version of their Seacons. Uh, it's a little white figure in front, so uh, they're recoloring stuff. So TFC is still around. We haven't I haven't seen anything from them for a while, but yeah, we got a God Neptune version of their Seacons coming. So we also got some new images of the Yes model, which uh, this is their Defensor, and it looks like uh, we're finally getting their Hot Spot. I don't have any of these. I've never got any of the Yes model stuff either, but a lot of people were really looking forward to this because they had the four limbs. And hotspot was not, you know, to be seen anywhere. But hey, yay! Y'all are gonna get y'all's hotspot, so y'all can, can use your combiners to, uh, you know, form your combining powers to form Defensor. So yes, model hotspot is coming. We also got a new image of the DX9 Stunticons Motormaster. So yay! So if you're in on that set, uh, this is gonna be y'all's Motormaster. Um, I'm in on the fans toys and the extra spots. I kind of skipped on this one, but. Yeah, doesn't look too bad, you know. So there's Motormaster from the uh, DX9. And last but not least on the uh, MP scale stuff we're getting, it looks like we got a new uh, company called Transcraft. 
and they have a new Mohawk. This is from The Last Night, which is a weird one to start off with. Uh, and this may not be the first one, but I think I've never seen really anything from Transcraft. So this is uh, their masterpiece movie kind of scaled and everything. And, you know, this is Mohawk. You know, he had a little, you know, cameo in the uh, the Last Night movie. Well, not really cameo. He was, you know, in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it looks very, you know, articulated. Everything that, you know, motorcycle mode doesn't look bad and everything. So if you want a Mohawk figure, then, hey, your, your prayers have been answered. So, yeah, this is from Transcraft. This is the Mohawk uh, figure. And up next, we got Legends, which, ooh very nice first we got iron factory we got a samurai series and they showed us a leo convoy or lyo convoy and a bludgeon taking a look at leo convoy you know everything so looks pretty good uh like the sword i love a sword with a you know a transformer and all that good stuff and you know showing it from different angles and everything then you got it into the you know the alt mode and everything and you know the line it looks like a it's pretty good a little paneling but you know it doesn't look too terrible and then we got Bludgeon, and he's got a face on his chest and everything. It looks really cool. So he's a triple changer, I guess. He turns into a crab and then a tank kind of thing going on. I know he tra you know, uh, he has transformed into a tank in uh, the uh, Chuck series and everything, but the crab thing is just a little, you know, a little weird looking. You know, this Bludgeon looks, you know, kind of scary. You know, it's not for kids, I don't think. But, you know, it doesn't look terrible, so I'm going to be in all both of these. I love Iron Factory. And uh, they're really nice. Then they also showed their Maximus Ambus. Uh, this is their uh, Ultra Magnus, which looks huge. I mean, this thing is going to be very big. I mean, it's going to be like deluxe, almost Voyager scale, looks like. Uh, but yeah, this is their IDW Ultra Magnus. It looks really nice. And then they also showed a bunch of stuff that's already coming out. And they showed the combined mode for their DJD uh, combiner. So that looks pretty cool. And that runabout, runabout muck looks really nice. I'm excited for those. But yeah, we've already seen uh, a bunch of this stuff already. So they should be coming out real soon. And then we got some new stuff from New Age. We got some cone heads. We got Megatron. We got the Starscream, man. This looks really nice. I mean, I'm very excited for this. I'm glad we're getting cone heads from them. That's awesome. And you know Magic Square is going to do some anyways. But yeah, it looks like we have two options for the uh, Megatron. It looks like maybe Toon version and Toy version. Uh, one of them's holding the key to Vector Sigma and everything. So I, I'm not for sure on this and everything. So don't quote me on this and everything. But it looks like we might be getting two versions, or we'll get you know accessories to uh, you know to add on that could you know change it to the Toy version. I don't know for sure, but man, these look really good. Uh, I'm excited for New Age, man. They're pumping out some really good stuff. And that Star Trek comes with the cape and the, you know, the crown and everything. So, oh man, that's going to be so nice. I can't wait for this Star Scream. And the Seekers. I'm, I'm excited for the Seekers, too. Then we got Magic Square. We've seen this picture. We see the sound wave, which, oh, very nice. You got Reflector, and it shows the camera mode and everything. Then they got their Megatron coming and all that stuff, and it looks so good, man. Magic Square, come on now. I love the tapes, Rumble and Frenzy down there, Rat Bat and Ravage and Laser Beak. Then you got uh, Megatron sitting on the, you know, the throne from uh, or the abraham lincoln memorial thing so that's pretty cool then it shows all you know in gun mode which was really nice then it shows all the head sculpts and the you know the brain thing the whatever the attachment the helmet i forgot was uh what it's called offhand but then you got all the different hands you got the you know the sword and the saw blade and the gun so he, he's gonna come with a lot of accessories man very nice then they got their primes they got the the shattered glass one you got the ultra magnus one they got a gold one that up above you can see the uh the P stained Ultra Magnus, and you got some clear versions of the Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus. So I'm hoping we get those. That looks really nice. Oh man, come on now. We're also getting some Teletron One and the you know the little Med Bay and everything. We have a Dead Prime that they're gonna give us. That that's awesome. You know I never thought we would. We have one from Masterpiece, but it's from the MPO One uh, version. But now the you know Legends is giving us a uh, Dead Prime also. So that's pretty cool. Also I want to talk about this uh, Abu Bakar. He's in the Transformer Legends Toys uh, Facebook group that I'm in and everything. Uh, he posted a picture. Of of the differences between the Magic Square and the New Age uh, Megatrons and everything. So you see a front view and a back view of it and everything. So it looks pretty good. Both of them look really uh, great, to be honest. Uh, the New Age kind of crotch thing is kind of, you know, a little, you know, weird looking. I think the uh, Master or the uh, 
Magic Square one looks a little better. But overall, both of them look really good. I'm excited for both of these. So thank you very much, Abu. Uh, I hope you don't mind if I use your picture. Toy World, we got some images of their Megatron, the Transmetal one, the Legend Scale. So yeah, I love the alt mode. It looks really cool. I love that purple. And then we got another pic of the uh, bot mode also. So this is Toy World's uh, Megatron from Transmetal. Beast Wars. So I don't think this was at the show, but uh, Mr. Pake for Life, he's a really good dude. Uh, go check out his reviews and everything. Uh, he showed us a tuned chest plate version of the Ocular Mask uh, Max Bruticus. So now you're getting a tuned version chest plate for that and everything. So if you're in on this Bruticus, there you go. That's awesome. All right. So that's all I got for what uh, at this convention so far. Hopefully uh, they may show some more stuff. I don't It may be over with. Uh, but yeah, we got some really nice stuff coming. All right, hope you like that long slideshow of up and coming new Transformers. And man, is it good to be a Transformer collector right now? Oh my goodness, we got new stuff from Unique Toys. Uh, what else we got? We got a new company with uh, doing some The Last Night uh, stuff and everything, which I don't know why they're doing that guy, but you know, Mohawk, if, you, if you're a big fan, here you go, you got some uh, Mohawk for you. Man, we got uh, new pics of the DX9 Motormaster. You know, everything. Then, Legends. Legends, Legends, Legends. Man, great time to be a Legends collector, man. We got New Age, Iron Factory, and Magic Square. They got some really awesome stuff. Some Megatron's coming, Seeker's coming. Man, they just... Man, we're going to have a full cast of Season 1, 2, 3 by the end of uh, either this year or next year. Probably next year, but man, it's getting close. They are putting out just stuff just like that, man. And, oh, it looks good. So... Hit me up in the comments and tell me what you're excited to see. Are you, uh, you know, we got some new Toy World stuff too. I forgot to mention that and Zeta because, you know, Zeta and Toy World always go together. They're not called Toy World anymore. I don't know. Next week they'll be called something else. Who knows? But, yeah, hit me up in the comments and tell me what you're excited for. Are you looking forward to any of this stuff or you just don't care? Man, good stuff. Wonderful wonderful stuff. All right. Oh, well, like I said, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and sub for me if you're new to the channel. I'll really appreciate that. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. Hell Transformers. And good night, folks.